Okay. Uh, obviously, disappointing loss, uh, a game that um, uh, West Virginia earned the victory and deserved to win. I thought they uh, outplayed us, and all that being said, we had an opportunity late in the game to um, – almost uh, steal a victory. So uh, disappointed uh, in, a, in a number of things, uh, but obviously we've got to move on. We've got to move forward. And, and that's what we talked about in the locker room is this one's going to hurt and we had an opportunity to win. Uh, didn't get it done. Uh, it's our own doing. Um, and there was, you know, we're not going to point fingers because uh, whether it's a coaching staff, we made some errors, offense made some errors, special teams, defense, everybody made their errors today. Uh, and so we've got to come back uh, on Monday Monday, get ready for a, a tough road trip to uh, Texas Tech and, and uh, circle the wagons and, and uh, get the guys ready to play because we have a ton to play for still. Coach, when you get away from your identity of being able to run the ball and move the ball on the ground, how tough does that make it? And how do you, how do, guys are banged up. How do you kind of... Yeah. Well, you know what? So what? Now what? We we if they're banged up, they're banged up. We somebody else, somebody's got to step up, and make a play. But you know, we we weren't able to sustain a running game and have a good enough running game to get us into second and shorts and stuff. And you know, we had the one explosive play to start the game, which was a great play and great design. But uh, we have to find some more explosive plays uh, in the passing game, especially uh, when people are, are pressuring us and taking us out of a run. It's the second straight game. It's been tough going on the ground. Have you been able to identify maybe the culprit for these? I think it's a combination of things. I think it's it's a lot of uh, blitzing uh, up front, and and if that happens, and you know we've got to be able to decide where that pressure is coming from and hurt them uh, when they do pressure. And, and sometimes that's um, in the run game, and oftentimes it's it's in the passing game. And so we have to come up with some better ideas in the throwing game to to counteract all the pressure we're seeing on first down, especially. Uh, without talking more about the scheme than you're comfortable with, what did you see go wrong on the third and fourth? You know, I didn't. I was on. I was more by the line of scrimmage, and and uh, I, it was a blown coverage. But I didn't see uh, where he came from. Uh, obviously, on the third and, and extra long, uh, that that can't happen um, to give up a touchdown. All that being said, that's not the play that that beat us. That was a key key factor. But there are so many other things uh, throughout the game uh, that uh, could help determine that fate. And and obviously, that's a big play. Cause everybody sees it as a touchdown uh, early in the fourth quarter, but we had our opportunities after that even. Is it a surprise at all to see Diggy be the quarterback that started today? No, I kind of thought he would be the guy. Uh, I thought he played well when he came in late and uh, in, in the game a week before, um, and, and I thought he did some some really good things. And uh, I think he's a good player. They have a, a a good system to get the ball to their playmakers in space, and uh, I thought they had a really nice game plan. How did you feel like Skyler played today? Uh, I thought he did a nice job. I, I, you know, to to really uh, evaluate it after not looking at it. Uh, obviously, we, we want to score more points, and that's everybody. That's just not your, your quarterback position. That's everybody. But uh, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to evaluate and see where we can help him more, whether it's in the run game, uh, you know, protection-wise and stuff. But uh, I, one thing, is Skyler's a great competitor, and uh, he'll bounce back. You talked about being disappointed in a number of things. I wonder if you could just go through what maybe that's like. Well, you know, we to start with, we uh, give him an extra possession uh, on a missed field goal where we're off the field and then up, they end up scoring uh, on a play and then um, you know we're we're down in the red zone and, and we've been really good about getting touchdowns and, and we end up kicking a 21 yard field goal uh, rather than getting the end zone and that's been where we've had successes we've limited people to field goals and we've been scoring the touchdowns well lo and behold this week it, it, it kind of flips on us and uh, when you get down there you got to come away with points you got to come away with touchdowns there's Three touchdowns were all kind of third and long, and you talked about the, the, the penalty on the field goal. Did you feel any kind of lack of focus when you were the first half? Well, the penalties were definitely a lack of focus without question, and, and we addressed that, and I thought we were better in the second half. But, um, you know, th their one play, we, we pressured, and, and they won in man coverage. That, that's going to happen sometimes. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, I, I, we challenged the guys at halftime to have um, uh, better focus and better discipline, and, and we did in the second half. But still, you, you still got to make plays. That's what it comes down to. This game's about uh, playmakers making plays, and, and uh, ultimately they made a few more than us today. Just curious if... If you could tell us what explanation you were given on the punt that looked like it was down. Uh, you know, that they thought uh, it, 
Ross had caught it, but then as he was going out of bounds, they thought it crossed over the official shoulder. I, I don't know as far as, you know, yeah, I think they looked at it and stuff. So, uh, but it's another one. We, we could catch that one and make it easier on him too. You guys gave up three passing touchdowns today. You only had given up five all year coming in today. What was just the difference in well, some of those were third down, and we just uh, either don't get home uh, on, on the pressure, or we, you know, the, the one we talked about uh, on the 50 yarder, um, and then the other one was a pressure, and then they sprinted out on the third one. We, we have to get off the field on third down. We did a good job of forcing them into some uh, long yard situations, but uh, if, you, if you don't get off the field, especially down there, um, it's going to cost you. And this, was, this was a loss that maybe some people would say they, wouldn't, they didn't see coming. Is your message any different with the team afterwards? No, and I and I kind of caution everybody with that as far as so did you guys expect us to lose to Texas? Did you guys expect us to beat TCU? Did you guys expect us to beat Oklahoma? I, I'm not a big believer in that. Uh, if you don't come prepared every week to play, and if you do, you got a great opportunity to win. Uh, if if you if you play your tail or practice your tail off, you may not win all the time. I'm not, and I never will be, one of those guys where you say, well, you can chunk chalk this one up as a victory. Uh, we'll probably lose that one. I've never been like that, and I'll never be like, and never will be as far as every week, you're going to get everybody's best shot. This is a really good league, and uh, everybody can beat everybody. And so that was the that was more the message at the end of the game is, man, guys, e e this league's a really good league. Make sure you're ready to play every week. Based on your week of preparation, did you feel like you're – yeah, I, I, I did. I thought we had a good week of prep. Uh, I, I really did. I didn't know what was going to happen offensively with some of our skill guys with the injuries because some of those guys didn't practice. But I thought uh, I thought uh, our focus was good, and I thought our, our preparation was good. So then it comes down to simple things. Do you make the plays? And today, I thought West Virginia made a lot more of those plays than we did. And and once again, let's let's give let's give those guys credit. I, I you know even on the the third and seventeen, the kid scrambles out and makes a play. Does a good job. How much did their run blitz throw you out of sync? A bunch, a bunch, and we have to do a good job of of coming up with some answers for it uh, because they really, you know, they're a three down team. But they ran, they actually lined up in a, a lot more four down fronts or even fronts and still uh, just slant and angled and pressured, uh, pressured with their linebackers. And uh, we, we have to find better answers. Bottom line, we have to find better answers in the run game to give our guys a better chance to be successful. There you go. Yeah. Jones, the big play he had early, he's been big all year. Yeah. Well, how does he just keep getting open? Because he runs great routes, really precise routes. Um, he has a great rapport with Skyler. He's such a great competitor and uh, finds a way to just make plays. He's, he's, a, he's a great football player for us. Anything else? Yeah, let's go ahead. Have you had a chance to talk with Skyler about what went on in that, that last interception? I have not uh, gotten a chance to, and I, I don't know if there was pressure or if he, you know, saw something different. I, I don't know. We we ran a double move with Dalton, and um, we knew it was going to be a shot, taking a chance d down the middle of the field, uh, and 50-50 uh, situation. And their their defensive back made a nice play. Is it easy to remedy your run game in, in, a, in a week of time once you've got used to everything? Uh, it should be. You bet. We got a bunch of seniors and, and a bunch of really good coaches, and uh, we, we have to find some ways to be more consistent running the football. And, and I, I firmly believe that we'll do that. And uh, that's the challenge this week. And you know, let's we got a bunch of guys that have a lot of pride uh, in their work and in their craft. And so um, I, I'll be excited to get back to work on Monday with them. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.